Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. In this week's misconception in astronomy, we are going to look at meteors and find out if they are indeed falling stars. So let's take a look. What is a meteor first of all? So are the meteors related to stars at all? What is the relationship? Well, there is none. Meteors have nothing to do with stars other than the fact that we sometimes call them shooting stars. So that's about all the meteors and the stars have in common is that we misname them as shooting stars. What actually then is a meteor? Well, a meteor is a bit of debris that was left behind by either a comet or an asteroid. So as they orbit around the sun, they can leave material behind. And here we see an image of, say, a cometary orbit. And as the comet orbits, it will leave debris around this whole orbit as it goes through. And as the comet does that, when the Earth happens to pass through that debris trail, then these very small particles can get vaporized in Earth's upper atmosphere and burn up. And that is what we are seeing as a shooting star or a meteor. So again, nothing to do with stars, everything to do with our own solar system and some of the smaller objects such as comets or asteroids. Now we don't see them from every comet or asteroid, only those where we happen to pass through their orbits. So with orbits being three dimensional, it's quite possible that there are many comets that Earth never happens to pass through the debris that they've left behind. However, it is quite possible and in some cases we pass through them once or even twice. And when we do those very small grains of sand, essentially very small particles can be vaporized in Earth's upper atmosphere and that gives us and here we see that again, where we have the meteor streaking across the sky. Now meteors actually tend to come in showers. So what is a meteor shower? Well, we said it's the debris. First of all, we're looking at the debris left behind by a comet in its orbit. And the Earth passes through the orbit of that comet. And we may then be able to see between a few meteors an hour to a dozen or more every hour, sometimes several dozen. We can get to the point where you can see a couple, one or two, even a minute in the most intense meteor showers. And an image of one, you might see something like this. Now, you would never see this many all at once. This is taken over an extended period of time during a meteor shower and allows us to see each of those individual meteors. And you can kind of note how they seem to come from one single point in the sky. And that's because they're all following the same orbit and they're traveling parallel to each other. So they seem to appear to converge off in the distance. So in reality, meteors have nothing to do with stars, but do have to do with comets within our own solar system. So let's go ahead and summarize here. And what we looked at is that the meteors or shooting stars have absolutely nothing to do with stars at all. Meteors, what they are, are bits of debris left behind by a comet or an asteroid in its orbit. And if the Earth happens to pass through this orbit, these small grains can be vaporized in Earth's upper atmosphere, leaving the trails we see behind. So that concludes this misconception in astronomy on meteors being related to stars. We'll be back again next week for another misconception in astronomy. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.